Hello Year 9 and welcome to your music lesson. This music lesson will be on theory and a research project. So the theory lesson, understanding sort of building blocks of music, will be during this video and any work that I ask you to do will be uploaded by the end of the lesson that you have your period. Uh, along with that though, the research project will be more of a sort of a long task that you'll be asked to do over the coming weeks. Uh, however, that will be expected to be uploaded and there's quite a lot more bulk to that. So you need to make sure you keep going on with that every lesson if you get through all of this. Uh, now, to get started off, uh, you may know already because you're probably listening to the video, but uh, the videos can be found on the school YouTube channel. This one's under Year uh, 9 Music Lesson 1. It'll also be on Class Charts, this PowerPoint. So if you need to look through the PowerPoint without me flicking through really quickly or talking over annoying you, you can go and just look through the PowerPoint. Uh, and there's some, uh, there are some... Uh, links added in the sort of notes section below on the PowerPoint. Uploading your work to class charts, however. So when it comes to uploading class charts, there are a number of ways you can do it. You can do a Word document or a PowerPoint and just upload that. You can screenshot your work and you can just upload it that way. Or you can take a picture of any written work. So you can just write your work down on a piece of paper, however you feel like, and you can upload it that way. Now, lesson objective. To understand the notes on a keyboard and tones and semitones. So we're understanding where notes are on our keyboard and we're understanding what a tone is and what a semitone is. So uh, at a basic level, that's the red box on the left, you are able to identify where any note is on a keyboard. And because of that, you're able to identify what a semitone is. At a more able left foot level, the yellow box in the middle, you are able to identify tones and semitones. And through this, you are able to see the differences between what a semitone is and what a tone is. And then the green box on the right, you're able to use your understanding of tones and semitones and use this to find the notes of a thing called the major scale. So whatever note you start at, you can work out the notes that make the major scale from that note, which we'll go into a bit more. It may sound a bit confusing at the moment. Notes on a keyboard. So the keyboard, you've seen this all before, but I'm just going to go through a quick sort of thing. Uh, as you know, the white notes go up alphabetically. So if you start at C, you just the next note after that will be D, then E, then F, then G. But then it does not go to H. There's no such thing as H. It repeats back to A, then goes B, and then you're back at C. So it only ever goes from A to G, and then it just keeps repeating. You never have more than that. So altogether, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then you're back at C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Along with that, you have the black notes at the top. These are the accented notes. They're, they're called the sharps and the flats. So if it's got a hashtag after it, it's known as sharp. And if it's got a little B after it, it's known as a flat. So don't be confused by the symbols. They are just a sort of shorthand way of saying if it's the name of it's a sharp or a flat. All right. It's just so that to write the word sharp and flat all the time. So if I play F, if I go to the black note that's next to F, just above F, that is F hashtag, which is F sharp. It's also known as G flat, but don't let that worry too much. It's just it's just two different names of the same note. It's both the same note. And lastly, is finding the notes on a keyboard. Like, for example, finding C. <clears throat> finding C, if you find the two black notes on the keyboard, so you can see it alternates between two black keys and three black keys. It does that the whole way up the keyboard. Two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys. If you find the two black keys together, and then you go slightly left of that, to the white note to the left, that is C. So you can see it on the little uh, picture that I put on here. If you're still struggling with that, I've put a video in the links below with a sort of song, and you might have heard it before because I played it a few times, uh, with helping you understand where C is on a keyboard. Because if you know where C is, you can work out where D is, E, F, G, A, B, and then back to C, and all the black notes as well, because they're all in relation as it shows on the chart or graph here. Now, uh, semitones. Now, what is a semitone? Now, a semitone is basically what we call the distance from one note to its nearest note. So say, for example, we've got the note E, a semitone up from E would just be F, because it's the closest note to E. Now, with that, you need to keep in mind, though, the black notes, because they are still notes. So if we have F, a semitone from F would not be G, because you've missed out the closest note to that, which is actually F sharp, F, F hashtag. So you need to keep that in mind when it comes to working out it, what, which, is an, uh, which is a semitone. Uh, along with that, I put a task here. Find and write down the notes given that are a semitone up from the notes given. So I'll give you the first one because I'm nice. Uh, if you find B, a semitone up from B, so you've got to find the closest note. There are no black notes uh, between 
B and the closest note, which is C. So that means the closest note is C. Laura, semitones are really helpful. You may have heard famous songs that use semitones, like the Jaws theme tune. So really important. I'll be asking you to upload this little bit up to, uh, at the end of the lesson, so make sure you number it properly, work it through properly. Next, we come to tones. Now, tones are simply just a jump of two semitones. So instead of going, so if we went, if we went a semitone from C, if we went a semitone from C, it would be C sharp. But a, set, a tone from C would just be, instead of going just to C sharp, you jump another semitone and you go from C to D. Easy enough. So if you go from C to D, or you could go from F to G, because F to G would be a tone. Along with that, you need to keep in mind the black notes again. So we go from D sharp, as it says here, two semitones. You don't jump to like F sharp, because that'd be three semitones. You jump two, so D sharp, E, and then F. So, so it's the distance, so tones and semitones are the distance from one note to the next. You either go for a semitone from D to E, or sorry, a, a semitone from D to F sharp, or a tone from D to E. Easy enough. So again, there's another task here. It's the same notes I gave you at the beginning, but you'll see how that jump is slightly different with these here. So if, like I gave you before, when I gave you B was uh, B to C, this time B would be B to C sharp, because the jump is two semitones instead of one. Lovely. Watching than that, you can have a go at, at, at trying to do the major, understanding the major scale. Now the major scale is basically uh, a series of notes in the order or in the jumps that we, uh, if I've given you here. So it goes tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So basically what you do is any name of the scale, so here I put the E major scale, you start at the note that it gives you, so E major scale, you start at E, and then you work your way up in the order that I've just given you, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So we've got E, and a tone up from E would be F sharp, because you don't go to F because it's a semitone. Then a tone from that would be to G, because so G is the semitone, then a tone is G. And then you can go, you can see from G hashtag the black note, I go from G sharp to A, because that's a semitone. Then a tone from A to B, then another tone from uh, B to C sharp, then C sharp to D sharp, which is another tone, and then lastly, tone, and then a semitone from D sharp to E, which brings us back to E. So we end up with a E major scale, which sounds like this as played. written there you can see the notes of the major scale are E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp and D sharp. Work out, you can work out any major scale starting from any note and you can work out the tones and the semitones to make the major scale. With that, that's this is your last task. I'd like you to find and write down the notes for each of these major scales. So start with the C major scale, then the D major scale and the F major scale, then the A sharp major scale, which is quite a difficult one. Once you've done that, you can try to upload your work to uh, write, make sure you wrote, as I said, you've got your work written down, make sure you upload it to class charts by the end of the lesson. So at the end of the lesson, you should have one bit of work on semitones, one bit of work on tones, and one bit of work on the major scale. I've given you the order at the bottom left, and then I've given you the keyboard at the bottom right as well, so you can work them out. So the C major scale, C, tone, D, another tone, which is E, then a semitone, which is F, then a tone, which would be to G, and I won't work out the rest for you, but that's the start, okay? So you basically just got to go through the step motions. Once you've done all that, you can continue with your project on your favourite artist. artist, artist. Uh, the criteria and examples for the project, you can, as you probably know by now, are found on class charts under research project. You do not need to upload this yet, but I'm expecting you to complete um, slides one and two pretty much by the end of this lesson. You do not need to upload this, I repeat again. I would, however, like you to upload the task that I've given you in the last in the last of the rest of this video. So that means the semitone, the tone, and the major scale tasks by the end of this lesson. Uh, apart from that, well done. I hope you're all well. Uh, I'll send you another video soon.